Hello vlog! So I'm here What's with up, Ashley. Vlog? We're at Michael's right now and we're going to buy some stuff because we are seeing Sam and Colby on Sunday. We're gonna do a little salt and salt for them. Welcome them to Boston the right way. So we got the stuff. Our final purchase. One poster board, a pair of scissors, a clear tote bag and seven packs of 50 sheets of neon paper and the total was $24 so thank you Michael. All right ladies after a quick detour to Starbucks we're at Hobby Lobby. We're not sure what we're gonna get. Okay guys Hobby Lobby was a bust. We didn't buy anything. We're at, now we're at AC Mart. 15 minutes later and we're at another craft hey. store. We're at Joanne. Joanne's. Mm -hmm. Trying to find Henna. Jesus Christ. Guys we're at Joanne's still. <laughs> Pray for me. Did we find it? We found now it. Now what are you thinking? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want it. <laughs> Went to four different craft stores and I don't think we're gonna buy it. <laughs> Verdict is, we did not get it. Now we're gonna go and cut the X's until we die. <laughs> we are here. Um, so as you guys know, we are trying to pull off a project for the Sam and Colby show. Trying. D keyword trying. <laughs> We've been just cutting all of this paper. We're losing our minds. This is currently the setup. Of course, we're watching Sam and Colby. These are our X's that are completely finished. Back at the table, <laughs> we have all these that don't have any writing on them. If you guys don't know anything about <laughs> Sam and Colby, is that their whole thing is exploring. We basically made these templates out of cardboard of their emblem which is x and then we've been cutting them out on paper we have 350 that we need to do and then write on and then we're gonna pass them out at the show and we're all gonna shine our flashlights through them i don't really want to trust fun baby i like my women independent and i say to people that's my lady Good morning vlog. It's bright and early, Sunday morning, July 8th. Here in the car with Ashley. We're wearing magic stripes, so you know it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna meet Sam and Colby right now. How are you feeling right now? Me? Yeah. Not okay. <laughs> exactly. Y'all, we are um, Is that me? We're in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> We're in line. We've been passing out X's and everyone really likes it and I'm feeling really good about this so I think it's gonna go well. I didn't get this blister on my finger for no reason. It's warm. And the, they don't eat. Who are you? Colby and Sam. Colby Brock? Oh my god. Is this going somewhere? We have a couple. Is this on the internet? YouTube. Well, yeah, we have these girls. Oh. <laughs> so if this goes on YouTube and Daniel CB sees this somehow, I love you and I'm gonna marry you one day. Wow. I hate Zach. He was the worst guy. That, that You know what? It was your job. I said that was the only thing you needed to do. Oh, I realized that I never told you guys what Sam and Colby's reactions were to the project. 
but I had this whole bag was filled with all of the X's that I showed you guys before and I passed them out to so many people in line reiterating the same line. into the venue, Emily and Destiny are freaking out the entire fucking time. I thought I passed out more than I did, because I was kind of in the front and there were so many people I didn't see everyone holding up the X's, but a lot of people actually were. I did see at one point that uh, there was this one girl, she was about diagonal from me to my left. I could see her the whole time, they would be talking about someone and she would hold up her X so high. I was like, they had just ended the trivia portion of the show and this girl is waving the X around and she's like yelling at Sam and he like turns and he looks and he sees her and he goes yeah I saw that but I wasn't sure if he was pointing at the X but then Emily grabbed my hand and he was like he's not in the X I'm like oh. for y'all who don't know I'm a Sam girl I died a little bit on the inside Show ended. Full screen reps was like, guys, if you have this wristband, come up to the front, blah, blah, blah. So we're waiting in line. And at the Middle East downstairs, the way that it works is that there's a ramp that heads up to the stage, basically. So they were having everyone come up towards the stage, loop a little bit, and then loop onto the ramp and up. And Sam and Colby were right before you actually are onto the stage. Emily and Destiny and I were chilling, we're talking, blah, blah, blah. And we head up there. And I'm about halfway up the ramp when all of the shit starts to go down. Looking, I could see the whole like venue. I was very visible. Anyone in the venue, if they looked in my direction, they could see me. Full screen wrap. Goes up to the mic and grabs the mic and goes, I bet everyone knows the answer to this, but where's the girl that was handing out all those X's in line? Emily and Destiny freak out. They start pointing at me, <laughs> me being me, and I'm like, Okay, and points on me, and then the whole fucking venue, it felt like, laser beam dies on me. I was already stressing the fuck out because Sam and Colby are six feet away from me. I've been waiting four years for this fucking moment, and now I have 500 different people looking at me right now. People coming from behind me, in front of me, left, right, coming up to me. I had parents coming up to me being like, I don't know who these kids are but that's pretty awesome that you did all this. Meanwhile, I have Destiny and Emily screaming in my ears, being like, Oh my God, Kobe Brock. <laughs> the fiasco was done and I'm trying to like compose myself. The pack that I was with of my friends was my friend Eva, Emily, and Destiny. There's one more girl in front of Eva and we're waiting and I look at Emily and I'm like, holy fucking shit, Sam looks so good in yellow. She's like, tell him that. I'm like, Excuse me, what? Tell him? I will actually implode. I was like, you do it or I will tell him. And I'm like, well, fuck. He was talking to the girl that uh, they were talking to. I was like, Sam. And then he turns around and he looks at me. I was like, just wanted to say, you look really good in yellow. He just smiles and he looks at the ground and he's like, thank you. Thank you. I love you. I'm like, love you too. The girl that they were talking to leaves. It's Eva's turn, and you know, they do the whole shebang, like pictures, oh my god, I love you. And you can get signatures at full screen events, so she said, hey, can you sign my ex? A lot of people had been asking them that. This is when they decide to ask about it. And Colby starts writing on it, and then he passes it to Sam and goes, where is everyone getting these exes from anyways? That's when I freeze up, and I'm really screwed. She like... It felt like she yelled, I don't know if she actually did. Oh, that was Riley, she's right here, she did it, and she's pointing at me. We're literally like three feet away from them. And they both look up from signing Eva's ex, and they just were like, you did this? And was like, she hand cut 350 exes for you guys. Sam didn't believe me that I did it. Picked my bag off the ground, I was like, did I? I don't know, there's only one Tyler's cactus on the internet. Pretty sure that's me. Yes, Sam, I cut out 350 X's for you. And then, you know, we had a moment and Colby was like, that was so sweet of you. 
and I wanted to give you guys my opinions on attending a full screen event. This is my first time attending a full screen event. I thought it was pretty good for the most part. Uh, however, there were some discrepancies. I knew about this before purchasing a ticket, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it, we're gonna go for the new experience. For example, something that I experienced, there was a lot of miscommunication between full screen representatives that were working with Sam Colby and the venue. There was a lot of miscommunication between the full screen reps and the Middle East. There were tweets saying that, oh, be there at 9.45 if you have all access, be there at 10 if you have VIP, and then 11.30 for if you have GA meet and greet, and then 12 the show will start. Everyone was confused because my ticket said that the show started at 1.30. I heard from someone that I know that works at the Middle East. She was telling us that the timetable that they had received from full screen was completely different. It's... <laughs> In my opinion, a little bit disappointing when a 17 year old that's attending your event has to send the worker of the venue that you're holding your show at information. I don't know if this is like this at every type of full screen event, but I know the whole thing behind full screen is that it gives you the maximum of opportunities to meet the creator that you're going to see. Every level of whatever ticket you get, you can meet the creator that you're going to see. Um, for me, Sam and Colby, I had GA meet and greet, so I was lowest tier basically and um i have to say that the, the process afterwards was a little weird we had red wristbands because we were at the front of the line come to find out that the map uh, wherever you were in line you had a different color wristband if you had ga and that would determine like where you would be when you met sam and colby basically and i didn't know that and just afterwards it was really messy because they sold out the show and um, to anyone who has been to the Middle East downstairs would know that it's very small. The capacity is 575, however, when you fill that place to max capacity for ticket sales, it's insane. Uh, the woman that was one of the main announcers was like, oh, if you have this wristband, you have to come to the front and there's just a lot of shoving and pushing. And I know, uh, especially at the Sam and Colby show, that a lot of people were aggravated because they didn't know that the show was going to be so short. The show was probably about 20 minutes total, which was insane because added on to all the time discrepancies that were put out there, um, some people had been there for hours. Like I know my friends and I, we probably stood outside for like four or five hours. The show was already starting late because it was taking a really long time to filter everyone into the space. Then the show started. Maybe it was different for other people attending the event, but I know me having a red wristband, so I was the first group right after um, All Access. My group was right after them, so we actually got a lot more leeway to like take pictures and talk to them a little bit. That was another thing. Colby and Sam, for all the promo, I hate that. That's so bleh. Sam and Colby Boston Experience for the Explore Tour gets a, a 7 out of 10. This has been my full screen live kind of critique and also fan project making and also sam and colby experience i just hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you did give it a like share it with your friends on any platform you damn well please anyone i know i said this on instagram stories but to anyone that may be watching this that i came across uh at the sam and colby boston show i want to say thank you for being so sweet Thank you for showing Ashley and I so much appreciation, love, and support for this project. I was really nervous about pulling this off, especially since we started it two days before the show. It was really last minute, but I'm very happy with the outcome and that so many people thought it was a good idea. Subscribe for more videos. I'm going on so many more adventures uh, this coming summer, and I'm really excited. Thank you for all the love and support, always. It's so, so, so appreciated, and yeah. I love you guys a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I can't wait to talk to you again soon. So this has been Original Ride Production signing out and I will see you guys really soon. Bye. Full screen is about to rob all of our money.